guys, it's Chef from Pressure Lock, and today I'm gonna make a soup, like I said, lots of soups coming in the colder months. That's one of my favorites. Uh, as you know, again, I love Chinese food. It's one of my favorite things in the world to make. And since the hot and sour soup was such an enormous success, I figured I'm gonna make another soup that's very, very common when you go to a Chinese restaurant or order some takeout. This soup is an egg-based soup, and it's going to have a little bit of drops of egg in the soup. So I think I've already spoiled it for you by saying we're making egg drop soup. Guys, it's also one of the easiest things you can not only make in your instant pot, but of anything you can do in life. It's the easiest thing ever. It takes absolutely no time at all. The only prep you have to do is slice some scallions, and I'm telling you here and now, you're gonna absolutely love this soup. This egg drop soup is so incredibly good, you're gonna end up doing a mic drop at the end. So guys, let's get to it right away. Egg drop soup. We'll start with a bunch of scallions, which has about five or six of them or so and then slice them up. So we're gonna start by adding four cups of chicken broth to the Instant Pot. Then I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper, a key ingredient in many Chinese dishes, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, and a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And then give everything a nice stir before we add our lid to the top of the pot. So now secure our lid on the ultra or automatically in ceiling position. If you're on the duo series, make sure you turn the switch to ceiling position. Come down to the pot and hit pressure cook on the ultra model. And on the duo series, it'll say manual. And we're going to adjust the time so we're on for three minutes high pressure. That's it. Now, obviously, they're not going to call this egg drop soup without our star ingredient here. I'm talking the eggs. We're going to take four of them, but we're only going to use the whole eggs of two of the eggs and just the egg whites of the other two. And then crack them into a bowl. Now, the reason why I'm only taking two whole eggs and two egg whites is because we want more of the egg whites and the eggs themselves. Otherwise, it'll make everything a little bit too yellow in color. We want there to be enough white in there as well. It's an impressive. It'd be the perfect balance. So now take a whisk and let's whisk them up. Great. Now let's just set that aside. And because we want our soup to be a little thick in consistency, we're gonna take two tablespoons of cornstarch and combine it with two tablespoons of water, equal parts. And then mix it together so it goes from like a cement-like consistency to a nice, smooth one. Great, set that aside as well. And now that we're all done, let's do a quick release. All right, the pin drops, so the lid comes off, and well, nice and simple, our soup is already perfect. Next step. I'm gonna come down to the pot and hit the cancel button, and then I'm gonna go down to saute, and then I'm gonna select that, and I'm going to adjust the bottom so we're on the high or the more setting, depending on your model, and just hit start, and then let's bring everything to a bubble. And as we're waiting for it to come to a bubble, we're gonna add in our scallions. Now we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric. This is going to give the soup its classic yellow egg drop color. So now just give everything a stir and we want to bring everything to a little bit of a bubble. And once it begins to bubble, we're going to add in our cornstarch slurry and immediately stir it around for about, about one to two minutes while it continues to bubble. And as it bubbles, it's going to thicken. And after about a minute of bubbling, we're going to come down to the pot and we're going to simply hit cancel off. So turn the pot off. And then let's let our bubbles die down and you're going to see the soup will have thickened into that fantastic egg drop soup consistency we all know and love. See, I told you once the bubbles die down, it's going to thicken up. All right, now let's add our eggs in there. And as soon as we add our eggs in, immediately stir and watch this magic take place. Look at that. Our soup is now becoming egg drop soup with ribbons of egg swirled all throughout and looking absolutely beautiful. Look at that fabulous egg drop soup, guys. Doesn't that look like an egg drop soup you get in a Chinese restaurant? It's so incredibly delicious. Now, some people like corn in there, me included. If you want a little bit of sweetness and put some corn in there, just add the corn when you add the scallions. But I'm going to leave them out for now. We're ready to lay to listen to bowls. Let's get going. And right into a bowl. And see that turmeric and how it really adds the color to the soup? That's fantastic. And there we go. All right. And if you have some of those little chow mein noodles, you can drop them in on top and sprinkle them if you'd like. I love those, but unfortunately I forgot to get some. But by all means, feel free to put some on top. All right, let's try this amazingness out. Okay, I love a nice big bowl of soup, especially when it's Chinese food soup. I couldn't even tell the difference if this was in a Chinese restaurant or made in my Instant Pot right here in my Jewish kitchen. Mm. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, the soup is magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. It has everything you'd want in an egg drop soup. Tons of egg ribbons in there. An amazing thick, nice consistency to it with the cornstarch that thickened it up a bit. The flavors of the chicken and a little bit of the spice from the white pepper make such a big difference. And of course, that amazing, beautiful egg drop soup color. That turmeric really adds to the color of the soup. 
Mm. Mm, look at this, look at this, look at this. Amazingness. And as you can see, it took practically no time to make at all. One of the easiest soups you can make, right up there with the egg lemon, avgo lemon soup that I've made as well. Guys, I can't stress enough how simple and phenomenal the Instant Pot makes soups, and it's just, it's just one of the easiest recipes you can make, and also one of the tastiest. If you enjoy these videos, go to PressureLaCooking.com. I have tons of recipes there, I have tons of tips. I have pretty much everything you'd want. Every recipe is written out, you can print them, you can save them to any Pinterest board by hovering over a photo and hitting save button in the upper left corner. Go to Facebook.com slash PressureLuckCooking. That is my Facebook page. Like the page, you're gonna be notified of every new recipe that drops, every tip. If there's ever a sale on Instant Pot items that are good, I will post it there. You don't wanna miss out on that. Follow me on Twitter, at PressureLuck. Whenever a recipe also drops, you'll see it on Twitter. Don't miss those alerts. Instagram, I have it all. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much again for all your support. And Egg Drop Soup drops now. Mm.